Welcome to ACTV Newsmakers. On location today here at SWD Incorporated at 910 South Stiles Drive in Addison. October is Manufacturing Month in the state of Illinois, and on October 7th, the Illinois Manufacturing Association brought their Makers on the Move bus tour to SWD, a second generation family owned business which has served Addison for over 40 years. Coming up, we will hear from officials and spokespeople on behalf of the Illinois Manufacturing Association and members of the Illinois General assembly who represent the DuPage County area about the importance of manufacturing not only within a community but also within our local school system. Here's highlights now from the Illinois Manufacturing Association's Makers on the Move bus tour here in Addison. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Sarah. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the beautiful weather that Rick ordered in. I know if I gave him a job, he will get it done. So thank you, Rick. <laughs> Well, happy Manufacturing Month. Thank you so much to the entire community for coming out today. My name is Sarah Hartwick. I'm VP of Education and Workforce Policy at the IMA. And we're so, so thankful and appreciative to include SWD on our 40 stop, 2,500 mile tour across the state. This is day two, so we're still peppy. Check us on day seven and see how it goes. Um, but no, the, the entire uh, point of this tour is to travel the state and celebrate manufacturing, celebrate the employees most importantly, and highlight the incredible careers that are part of the manufacturing industry across the entire state. Over 650,000 people are employed in manufacturing across the state of Illinois. It's our largest sector for economic output for the state, and it's so, so important that we highlight the incredible manufacturers. A lot of people will probably drive by every day and they don't even realize the incredible work that's being done within these four walls and that is very common for manufacturing across the state and we need to bring awareness for that we need to highlight the careers yes we need to highlight the careers we need actual living wage family sustaining wage career for that anyone can have access to with just a high school diploma, a certification, four-year degree. Really, manufacturing is positioned to employ everyone, and that's what we're celebrating. So we're so, so thankful for to be able to stop here. I want to turn it over to our partners in crime. This tour would not be possible without the incredible support of the Illinois Manufacturing Excellence Center that is led by Dr. Dave Boulay, who I will let speak now. So thank you again. And I got to say it again, happy Manufacturing Month. I was about to take this for a ride. A happy Manufacturing Month. You know, Friday was National Manufacturing Day. Manufacturing is so important in Illinois, we need a whole month to celebrate. We are a powerhouse in manufacturing no matter what measure you want to use. Output value, number of employees, number of establishments. We are a top state in the nation when it comes to manufacturing. And this tour, as Sarah noted, this tour is really about you. It is about the manufacturers. It is about the makers. We have an amazing tradition, a history, and we are poised for a future that's just incredible for, it, for this state. And it comes down to the makers. If you look at the generational story of manufacturing, there's no doubt that manufacturing is in our DNA. With all the changes that are going on, all the shifts that are happening in supply chain and automation is also the pivotal moment for wonderful careers in manufacturing. This is the moment for us to help ensure that our next generation is ready to take us to the future. There are so many people to thank and to celebrate because manufacturing truly is a community. It is the manufacturers for sure. It's our local, state, and federal officials who help build the conditions and the support for us to be successful and have an innovative community. It's about the sponsors and the partners and all the community players that are part of the, the journey with us this week. I want to also acknowledge the IMEC team. We have a couple out here. You can raise your hands. That the IMEC team, they didn't raise their hand very well, but there they go. Uh, but, but, 
But the passion that, that you bring to the mission is, is simply incredible. I'm glad to see you here today. And then, uh, truly, our, our dear friends of uh, the IMA, uh, I can't say enough about this team, Sarah, Mark, the whole team. Their commitment to manufacturing, their voice for manufacturing is simply tremendous. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce Rick DeLauder, who not only is uh, president of SWD, but also on the IMA board. Rick. Thank you, David. Thanks, David. Welcome and thanks to the IMA, IMEC, and the sponsors who helped make this possible. The Makers on the Move 2024 Tour. I'm Rick DeLauder, president of SWD. We are privileged to have so many government officials, local manufacturers, stakeholders, and community members. I also thank our customers, the SWD team, better for and other friends and family that joined today. SWD is celebrating our 44th year in Addison, and we, we provide vital manufacturing processing services for global manufacturing supply chains. From automotive and truck manufacturers to heavy equipment, ag, Weber Grills, who you guys might know right here, and uh, building fasteners for the construction industry. The processes that we provide provide for corrosion protection, aesthetics, and other key characteristics that allow today's components to function flawlessly in their application. SWD is proud to represent manufacturing community here and also small business here in Addison. We are a second generation family owned business with almost 250 strong. In fact, my father, Dick DeLauder, the founder of the company, was a high school shop teacher before he founded SWD. And he also used to place students in careers that served manufacturing. During and since the pandemic, SWD invested more than $10 million right here in Addison. With the growth and in investment, training is a very important need, not only at SWD, but all companies. The challenge today isn't a shortage of manufacturing jobs, far from it. The challenge is that the type of work in manufacturing is shifting. It's not about white collar or blue collar, it's about new collar jobs that are high tech, 21st century, rewarding, well paying, and many that don't require a four year college degree. All of us realize that the ongoing baby boomers are retiring at a really quick pace and uh, for manufacturing, that means replacing over 22,000 production workers and 5,000 engineers every year above normal turnover rates and without regard to ebb and flow of the economy. This doesn't take into account the reshoring of manufacturing coming back to the United States either. Some of the collaborative work we've seen right here in Addison with Mayor Veenstra, which started what's called the Workforce Development Task Group many years ago. And he foresaw the need for collaboration between the manufacturing community locally here in Addison, coupled with the village of Addison, our education community, starting with District 4 and transiting to District 88, and ultimately the College of DuPage. Over time, we've established a model that brings this diverse stakeholder group together and has produced apprenticeship programs both at the high school and junior college level. We've seen the need to allow high schools to trans transition some students into apprenticeship programs at age 16 by waiving non-academic mandates to help up, up time uh, students, up, free up time, sorry, free up time for students that they could take uh, school, away from school to receive job training. The IMA has been involved in gaining access to high schools and community colleges for state grants to purchase and upgrade equipment to assure classroom instruction is aligned to equipment and processes that we use in daily business. Legislation proposing a grow your own STEM vocational education educator. This legislation is designed to eliminate the current critical shortage of teachers statewide, particularly those teaching math, science, engineering, and vocational education in all these areas, including manufacturing. Our economic developments cannot succeed without a strong and efficient education system that prepares a skilled, reliable workforce for today's jobs. The IMA Education Foundation leader, Sarah Hartwig, 
coupled with the Illinois Manufacturers Excellent uh, Center, IMEC, underneath, underneath the leadership of uh, Dr. David Burle, are empowered and, and invigorated to bring these unique trainings to the manufacturing community right here in Addison and throughout Illinois. The challenge before all of us is to avoid creating a new wider skills gap. We need to bring education closer to the realities of the world of business today and help our local schools keep abreast of technological advancements. This is a critical, this is a critical challenge on which manufacturers and educators can work together. And we are grateful for District 88's efforts in continuing to recognize the challenge of the future as we evolve together. For that, on behalf of SWD and our community, I say thank you. Once again, thanks to the District 88, Dr. Jean Barbonetti, the administration, the principals, the counselors, the teachers of both high schools, also our team who's actually intimately involved with a lot of this. We've got a lot of people out in, our, uh, out in this group right here that have been embracing these high school kids as they've had chances to come and tour SWD and be part of that. So I want to say thank you to Team SWD as well on that. Also, a special thanks to Mayor Reach Veenstra, who helped with the vision through the Mayor's Workforce Development Committee and the efforts of true collaboration amongst all the stakeholders, including the leaders of DuPage County as well. Now, that being said, I would be remiss not to mention the advocacy, advocacy work that the IMA is doing, being done in Springfield. For SWD and Illinois manufacturers, cost competitive energy, availability, and pricing is imperative for our future. Donovan Griffith and the IMA team are at the table with the ICC and other trade groups, including our farmers, emphasizing the importance of electricity and natural gas. Lastly, I want to bring to your attention the recently published 2024 legislative report card. I've got a copy right here. You can actually go on the IMA's website and take a look at how your legislators voted in areas that impact manufacturing the most. Thanks, Donovan, for your tireless efforts. I also have to say thanks to our president and CEO, Mark Denzler, who's in Japan right now with Governor Pritzker on a delegation uh, from Illinois promoting training and, and trade. I'm sorry, I don't know about training. <laughs> trade. <laughs> Maybe training. <laughs> yeah, I, I said trade, yeah. Anyway, thank you to the Illinois Manufacturers Association team for bringing the 2024 bus tour here to SWD, and also the National Association of Manufacturers as we celebrate this year's Manufacturing Month, the backbone of the United States, the makers and manufacturers that continue to innovate, evolve, and create. Thank you. I don't know if anybody else is... Hi, given elected an opportunity to take to the mic and we rarely say no. Um, I am State Representative Tara Costa Howard. I am a proud graduate of Addison Trail High School. I've always known that this area exists because I lived not too far from here. We have a joke among some, some of my fellow Addison Trail graduates, right? You can take us out of Addison and move us to some other place, but our heart always comes back here. So to be here today is actually truly an honor for me. Um, what you all do, we see you, we hear you. We have to bring manufacturing and support it here in the United States, but more importantly, in parks just like this across the state of Illinois. And that means workforce development, and I really, I gotta tell you, I might be borrowing that one. I like the new collar job, because that's actually what it's really about. It's not one or the other, it's how do we take the jobs of the future and make them relevant to our kids today. And I have to say, Addison Trail, District 88, Dr. Barbanenti, they have done an amazing job with that, but we can do better and need to do better to bring that to all of our high schools across the state of Illinois. I represent College of DuPage is within my 42nd district, and it is an initiative that we are constantly pushing to them, that they have to be able to work on finding ways to mirror what you all are doing in your high school School and in businesses just like this. So I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you again for giving me this opportunity because I never forget where I came from and that's a high school that's right down the street. Thank you. Hi everybody.
everybody. I am State Rep Jen Laddish Douglas. I live in Elmhurst and I just want to copy everything Tara said. It was wonderful. Uh, but I do want to say thank you to the IMA, to all the workers, to the just getting out there and getting this information out there. I grew up in manufacturing. My dad did engineering. We he worked with steel, he worked with chocolate, he worked with everything you could imagine. So I know the struggle, I see what you work on, I understand small business, and I'm proud of you. I'm thankful for you, and I hope we can continue to grow manufacturing in Illinois. And I hope to see you again, and that you have a wonderful day. See what we do, we support you, and I just hope that this continues to grow throughout the state. Thank you. Well, thank you everyone again. Um, we are, you know, day two into our 40 stop eight day tour. So makersonthemove.org if you want to follow us um, and see where we're going. And then you can watch all of our social media tags too. We have two things that we need to do. First, we're going to get a big group picture and that includes everyone. So we're gonna get a big picture up against the bus and then we're gonna sign the bus before it leaves. So you can actually put your signature on the bus. The back of the bus is prime uh, because people sit in traffic and they stare at it all day. So if you wanna have something cool, appropriate, but cool on the back, feel free. Um, so everyone, let's do the picture and thank you so much. Thank you, Rick, for joining us. Thank you to the legislators. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. From SWD Incorporated in Addison, I'm Don Weiss. Thank you for joining us on ACTV Newsmakers.